so i'll continue with the theoretical aspects okay and then once we've done a few we'll try to write some code and all okay so let me just do that so there's something called variables expressions and statements so if you have used any type of programming language c c++ or anything in uh, your school days or at work you would know that there's something called constants constants are just numbers like 1 2 3 98.6 or let's say any number any particular number is actually a constant uh any text is also a constant if it's just a text for example if i want to print hello world right like here print hello world if i just write this command in uh, python in either spider or in jupyter notebooks it will just print hello world okay with an inverted commas if i write it it will just print it so this is a value right it is a constant so uh, it is categorized as a constant so any uh string you know what string is string is variables alpha numeric uh, characters anything that is uh enclosed in single inverted quotes can be called a constant or any number is a constant a sim you can you know use that as a simple definition whenever we use the term string we will assume that we are talking about character values okay then there's something called variables as the name suggests variables can have many values so if i say 1 okay 1 cannot have many values right i don't i can't change 1 to 2 1 will always be 1 but if i say a okay if i put it in inverted commas single inverted commas then a is a i can't change it but if it is used it can also be used as a variable so if i define a variable a and try to store something in it now it completely changes the cons Uh, the concept so i can use the variable a to store a constant or another variable okay so for a i can store either the number 1 in it so i can write a is equal to let's say 1 or a is equal to 2 right or a is equal to 1 million so a will take these values or a is equal to let's say inverted comma someone's name yeah so let's say a is equal to within inverted comma rohit so a will take the constant value of rohit so a is a variable okay don't worry if you don't quite understand it clearly uh, once we write the code i'll explain it again so just bear with me just this is just an overview and then when we do it it will be easier to understand uh so variables is something that you can choose you can choose what name to give to your variable and there are certain format in which you need to write the variable name you can't just have any name yeah there's no particular upper limit in python for a variable name as such but then having too long of a variable name is not going to help so i mean you should not try to exceed let's say 30 40 characters at max but uh, uh, you know you can have a 1000 character 2000 character long variable name as well okay uh, so uh, what is the use of variables variables make it very powerful because it makes things dynamic so uh, and we'll see how how it makes it dynamic because variables can take multiple values at multiple times so that's why uh, you can use them creatively to do a lot of different tasks so we'll get to understand those things uh, so python uh, variable names are case sensitive that's one thing you always need to remember and that will be the first mistake that you guys will do a lot which is python is case sensitive so capital a is not equal to small a they are different okay 
so small x is not equal to capital X so there will be two different variables okay fine and a good variable name would be this uh, spam x spam 23 underscore or underscore can come first this is fine okay 23 spam hashtags and i don't think you will not be able to create these variables because these will fail dot is not allowed hash is not allowed your variable is name is not allowed to begin with a digit it can end in a digit that's fine but it cannot begin with a digit okay it can have an underscore but no other character at the rate and all a variable name will not have okay and this talks about uh what is different so spam versus capital s pm versus capital s uh, all all caps all these three are different this is not equal to this and this is not equal to this okay they will be treated differently and they will be treated as three different values or three different uh, variables no matter uh, how you want to use them fine so the way variable works is that suppose i want to create a variable a what it does is it creates a variable a and allocates certain space to it so it will create a python object okay called a and it will allocate a certain memory space right where some value will be stored okay as soon as you uh, write that this is a variable usually a junk value is associated with it if you don't assign it anything uh, otherwise when you assign a value it gets allocated to that variable till that time it has no value or maybe a junk value will be there okay so that's uh, the memory and variable relation okay any variable you create will have allocated memory to it where you can put variables in the future uh, or you can put constant values as well whatever you want you can put another va variable in a variable or you can store some constant value in a variable as well both are fine there are some certain things called reserved words these are the keywords and you cannot create variables in these names because they are some commands or keywords that are used in python so these should be reserved and not used as variable names or identifiers again some further definitions about uh, variables no need to repeat this uh, and these are some operations on variables so whenever we perform a mathematical operation it can be called an expression okay so what is this if i write in python x is equal to 2 this is called assignment this is not the equal to that we use in math it is not that it is checking whether x is equal to 2 okay what this means is store the value 2 in x okay it is important to understand it this way even though you will say what is the difference x is equal to 2 uh, I mean it's just the way you look at it you must read it that way that will help you interpret codes in a better way so what this tells you is assign the value 2 to the variable x okay so this is called the assignment stage or assignment statement now here what we are doing is this is an expression x plus 2 you can say that this is an expression and here what we are doing is assignment with expression so x is equal to x plus 2 what does this mean this will be again read in the same way assign the value x plus 2 to x or store the value of x plus 2 in x okay what will this do print x it will just print uh, the value of x okay so let's just stop here and uh, try to just run these these codes one two three okay so i will go to let's say jupyter notebooks okay and let me write 
x is equal to 2. I will run it. See, no result will be shown by because I have assigned the value 2 to x. Now, if I write x is equal to x plus 2 and run it, okay, what will happen? It's uh, Python starts reading from right to left. So when x was equal to 2, when Python read this command, it read this first. Okay. So x plus 2. x was already 2, right? x had a value of 2. So it will read it as 2 plus 2. And it will assign 2 plus 2 to x again. So what will be x become? 4. So if I do int x. The answer is 4. Please type in the chat if you got what is happening. X is a variable. You assign the value 2. X has already taken the value 2. When you write X is equal to X plus 2, remember that Python reads uh, the statement after the equal to sign. So it will first resolve this value uh, on the right hand side of the equation and it will say, okay, X plus 2 is 4 based on what I know till now. And then 4 will be assigned to x again. So the previous value that, that, that it had, which is 2, will be removed, will be deleted. And it will be replaced with 4. So now when we do print x, it will print 4, not 2. 